So as the first day of legal tampering comes and goes, because it's not quite free agency yet, um, I wanted to take a look at what the 49ers did and kind of give them an overall grade and then see if you guys agree. Um, so the first move we made uh, was re-signing Emmanuel Mosley two years, $10 million. Um, some people will say that's a little bit of an over, you know, overpay. Um, I might agree on that one. Um, but, you know, the Niners reward uh, hard work for a guy that came up through their system as an undrafted free agent. So I think that does a lot for a goodwill between the players and the front office that, you know, hard work pays off. So I'm not too overly concerned about it. Um, could they have given him a cheaper deal and put it, uh, you know, like a second round tender on him? Yeah, but they didn't do it. So we have to live with the fact, but I'm glad that they resigned him. Um, because I think he's, he's not a great player, but he's a good, solid NFL corner. So, you know, they had to lock down their defensive backfield for the simple fact that they didn't have anybody. So I thought it was a good move. Um, and then, you know, bringing back your own players is always a good thing too. And then we had the uh, signing of Jason Verrett, one year, 5.5 million. He turned on a multi-year deal from the 49ers. Um, kind of a, he wants to see if he can, you know, I think, Because of the injuries he's had, he's kind of betting on himself. And I think this actually works for the 49ers because you don't want to shell out a bunch of guarantee uh, guarantees and, uh, you know, a hefty contract to a guy who's had really one healthy season in his career or two, I guess. Um, So I think it was a great move by the Niners. um, And at the same time, you're rewarding him for staying on the field last year and playing really, really well. Um, He played like a top five, top ten corner, so. Um, re-signing Kyle Juszczyk, uh, five years, $27 million. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of weird on him. I, I always see him as a luxury, but at the same time, he's one of Kyle's favorite players and in the 49ers organization's favorite players. And, you know, he makes their offense run a certain way. He's maybe not the best in-line blocker, but he's definitely a good blocker on the move when he's blocking for, you know, running backs. Plus, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. So I thought it was a good move bringing him back. I think it's a good move to bring your own guys back in general because I feel like that keeps consistency going instead of always having to add new guys every year and then worrying about chemistry. Uh, The Niners lose Kendrick Bourne to the New England Patriots, unfortunately. I'm not too sad over that. Uh, he got a three-year, $22.5 million contract. Um, hard-working guy, another undrafted guy, so good for Kendrick Bourne. But I'm not overly I'm not overly upset about that. I think we got two top receivers right now, and then um, we have a good, really great tight end. So between all of that, I'm, I'm not superly overly concerned. Um, and then, of course, the 49ers made, I guess you could say, a splash by – Signing X Rams outside linebackers uh, slash speed rusher Samson at Bucam uh, to a two year deal. Um, he's, you know, they say he's, uh, for the amount of snaps he gets, he's pretty effective. He doesn't play full time and uh, his grading, um, his grading on the amount of its pass rush attempts he gets um, to success is like, pretty high considering because he's not a full-time player and one of the most important things about him is he's been healthy his first four years of his career which I think is a really good precedent to set the Niners need to start moving off these guys um they did a restructure of D Ford's contract um to alleviate pressure this year on our cap uh it's like a two-year, twenty-four million dollar deal. Um, he was, I think, he was supposed to make about twenty-one million this year. So they, if if, if the deal is a twelve-year per deal, they would save about eight or nine million. So good for the Niners on that. Um, and then if somehow he comes back and plays, uh, that would be awesome. You know, the Niners would have a lot of good depth, and we still don't know what they're going to do in the draft. Um, draft is still a mystery. And we still got the rest of free agency. So between all that, everything that's transpired, I'm going to give the Niners a B-plus grade. Uh, I won't give them an A because an A would be like re-signing Trent Williams, and they haven't done that yet. So 
a B plus uh, for everything they've done, resigning some of their own guys, and then you know signing a, a really strong depth piece um, at outside rusher. So who knows what's coming? Hopefully the Niners maybe can land themselves a center and an offensive tackle. Um, that would be awesome. That would be like best case scenario to me. And then we'll see what goes on from there. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share my opinions on that. B plus grade for the 49ers so far. If anything changes, um, I'll do my best to make an updated video. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.